Is it too late to turn my life around? That's the subject of this morning's Monday Motivator, and I have no doubt that this is not a question that you are asking, but potentially a question that is being asked of you. And what we're going to talk about today is how do you actually respond to that? What would you say? And so I have five things that I think are important for most people who want to turn their life around at whatever age, and we'll get to that in just a second. The question that we're asking today is, is it too late to turn my life around? How would you respond to that question? My name is Paul Toby and welcome to Monday Motivator. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is getting clear on what you don't want. So if somebody says, I wanna turn my life around, do they actually know what it is they don't want? And I feel that if that motivation is strong enough, then you can create some momentum, which then leads to the next step. But if you're just coasting, and you're not thinking about um, changing. In, in fact, you just get comfortable. And I think personally comfortable is somewhat of a disease for many people. Uh, if the motivation is not strong enough, you just can't move forward. You just kind of stay stuck in that place. Kind of like COVID-19 where you're just kind of chilling and wasting time. So number one, get clear on what you don't want. Then what I would say for most people is the reason they don't get what they want is because they don't actually know what it is they want. So step two in this is actually to create a clear, vivid picture of how you want to be when you turn your life around. So what does turning my life around mean? Where am I going? What am I trying to accomplish? What would I like to do? or be, or have in my life that I don't have right now? And I think most people don't really know the answer to that. Perhaps they haven't even asked themselves that question. Personally, I think it's very important to know what it is you actually want, because if you don't know that, you can't possibly get it. That's like going into a restaurant and the waitress comes to the table and she says, what would you like? And you say, I'll have some food. <laughs> Most people don't know how to respond to that and the universe doesn't know how to respond to vague questions. So very important, know what you want. Number three, most people have limiting beliefs. They could be, I'm not strong enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not young enough, I'm not capable enough, I don't have the willpower, I'm cursed. All of these things that people believe are actually limiting you from creating results on planet Earth. And one of the ways to clear out limiting beliefs is to say to yourself, or at least begin the, the process by saying to your mind, hey, thanks for sharing. The mind wants to share continuously these limiting beliefs with you. Just say, hey mind, thanks for sharing and move forward. So you have these sayings, you have mantras, perhaps prayer, perhaps meditation. All of these things can help you clear out any limiting beliefs that you have about what you intend to create. For example, let's say you wanted to create more revenue in your life. Most people believe that you have to work hard to get ahead. In my experience, that doesn't necessarily work at all. In fact, most of the people that I know that have a lot of money don't necessarily work hard. They work smart and they work based on experience and the, and the lessons that they've learned from other people. So number three, clear out limiting beliefs. Number four, you absolutely have to take action. Now, the problem with most people taking action is they do it based on the number one method for taking action, which is trial and error. Of course, the biggest problem with trial and error is you tend to make a lot of errors and you tend to make the same mistakes over and over again. So in my experience, when you wanna take action, you should take it 
based on two things. A, do something that helps others and B, get some training, get some advice from people who've actually done that before. For example, if you want to build a successful business, it's a good idea if you've never built a business before to ask somebody who's built a good business on how to actually go about that. If you want to become a professional musician, in fact, I asked somebody asked this question the other day, is it too late for me to become a musician? No, it's not too late, but perhaps you might need a little bit of guidance. I'm pretty sure you have enough common sense to know that you just don't sit at the piano and start figuring it out on your own. That probably is going to take you a long time. There's practicing to do based on a proven methodology. And so if you want to train to be a professional musician, you should get some help from a professional musician. So I think we understand that taking action is not just taking any old action. It's taking action on advice that you get from people who've done that action before, but also knowing that whatever you're creating, it should be for the benefit of other people. And then finally, I've found that the most helpful thing to getting ahead or changing your life for the better is to learn and practice two laws. The first one is the law of attraction. That's a law that states that whatever frequency of energy that I vibrate at, I attract the same level of frequency in the, in the, the form of situations and circumstances and opportunities and other people. So if I vibrate at a very low frequency and I'm constantly worried and frustrated and overwhelmed and angry and depressed, that's a frequency that tends to attract the very same thing in return. However, if I'm energetic and enthusiastic and I'm enjoying my life, I tend to attract more situations and circumstances and opportunities based on that vibrational frequency. So that is the law of attraction. The law of attraction, by the way, is always working. It's never not working. And people say, why isn't it working for me? And the answer is it is working. It's just not bringing you what you want because you're not vibrating at a higher frequency. And then the last law is one that's very difficult to understand called the law of detachment. Some people call it the law of letting go. Some people call it the law of flow. The law of detachment basically says this. If you need and you're anxious and you're in a hurry, you're not detached from the outcome. The outcome is the result of your actions. And it tends to come to those who are more patient. It tends to come to those who are less worried. It tends to come to those who are less in a hurry or anxious to get there. The universe tends to have its own way of dealing with results in its own good time, not your good time. So time is just something that allows you to get ready for the unveiling of your results. Those that are more patient it's funny, the results tend to come quicker, but the more you rush and the more you step over others and the more you push back and the more you fight, it tends to work in reverse. So practicing the law of attraction and practicing the law of detachment is something that you must do in order to turn your life around as it will. So the next time somebody asks you, how do I turn my life around? Think of these five things. Number one, get clear on what you don't want. Number two, the reason why people don't get what they want is because they don't know what it is they want. So number two is know exactly what you want. Number three, clear out any limiting beliefs about your ability to create that. Number four, 
take action based on two things. One, does it actually help other people? And two, did you get some advice before you start? Are you taking the advice and the recommendations of people who've done that before? And then finally, number five, learn two universal laws and practice them all the time. Learn the law of attraction and practice that every day. Learn the law of detachment and practice that every day. If you do these five things, it will turn your life around. And when somebody asks you, you'll know how to help them. Thank you so much for listening to this. If you have any uh, questions or comments, please write them below. Uh, give it a thumbs up, that would be awesome. And if you wanna to subscribe to our YouTube channel because of videos just like this, I look forward to seeing you in those videos as well. Thanks for subscribing. My name is Paul Toby. Have yourself a great day.